it was really disrespectful that Bobrisky didn't come to that place yesterday. And honestly, whoever advised Bobrisky not to go to that place uh, advised him well. I'm not supporting Bobrisky, but I'm just saying. Because just imagine Bobrisky was there. <laughs> just imagine Bobrisky was there. They would have even possibly asked him eh, to strip, just to confirm if he or she is a boy or if he or she is a girl. Because that was one of those topics there yesterday when they were trying to ask the correctional service one question. How can you tell that Bob Risky needed special attention? When in fact in court, Bob Risky stated that he is male and should be placed in male facility. So how can you tell that Bob Risky needed special attention? And apparently there are videos and photos. You know, uh, when you are going, there is a way the, the prison officer check you to know if you, I don't know how they do it, but to check your body and they know if you are carrying anything dangerous. And you, you might even strip yourself. So maybe they have a video of, uh, and then um, photos. Now, according to the correctional officer who was there yesterday, the mother was suspended. He said, but Brisky has some special feature that Bob Brisky get boobies. And not just boobies, Bob Brisky get hips. And also Bob Brisky get cucumber at the same time. So, and also in that prison, there are well people who are, who have been condemned because they are pedophiles and so many other persons like that. Mm -hmm. They are dangerous. Now, if they see Bob Risky, they would have pounced on him. That's exactly what we were anticipating when Bob Risky was going to jail. Like, come on, man. This guy cannot just go to this normal jail. If not, they will finish him all. We were all anticipating it and hoping that because Bob Risky might have com uh, committed the crime. But it's also a human being and nobody want to wish it on their worst enemy that somebody like Bob Risky could go to jail. We ain't men, made a nobody say woman now for like 20 years, did that jail. I told you that man go ready by all, but he go rush Bob Risky the night and like that kind, 10 men were on it at Bob Risky. So, <laughs> so, you, we might really, really understand that why the correctional service kind of like can find a proper place for, for Bob. But then again, we are not even talking about that. We are talking about the fact that Bob Brisky no stay for that prison. Bob Brisky was taken to an apartment outside the facility. Bob Brisky, as a high profile uh, inmate, not so. The question I want to ask you, you, you have told us here, sorry sir, you asked me a question but you answered it. No, I'm not done, I'm not done. Okay. Uh, please, I still have the floor. Um, you told us that Bob Risky has a very special feature, not so, yes, that sir. he developed a breast, or he has breast, not so, and uh, which as well, and hips, yes, no sir. problem. So did you, when you were entering his details, was he classified as a woman? Yes or no? So we don't have right. No, no, no. Was he classified? No, Wait, no, no, no. we don't answer that. Was he classified? He's, he's a male. He's a male as male. So what was the, the, the business telling all that because he has breast, he has a uh, nash, uh, that his case has to be treated in a different way? Uh, that's number two question. Can I, can I number three that? question. Let me finish, please. Number three question. He also did say, he did mention to us that uh, they were bringing his food from outside. Correct? He was not eating the uh, prison food, not so. If you are inside, yes. Uh, the food was coming from outside. Okay. Is it allowed by law? Yes, sir. What if they had poisoned the food and he dies in your cousin? No, what would have happened? We have, our, we have our rules. Okay. Thank you very much. That's, my, that's all I have for now. Just imagine Bob Brisky was there. They would have asked Bob Brisky, are you a man or a woman? And if Bob Brisky said I'm a man, they would say, oh yeah, prove it that you're a man. Oh yeah, show us. So, in as much as Bob Brisky disrespected the whole Nigeria, the house, and he deserved to be arrested, and I was even hoping that, okay, they, I, I don't know if there's any sitting again with the House of Rep. 
Because if there's any sitting that will invite in, invite Bob Biscuits, okay, you must show for the next sitting. If not, you will be arrested. If there is not, then I think they should immediately issue a, a warrant of arrest on Bob Risky for not being there. After all, they almost wanted to arrest Barry Darkman yesterday for not speaking. But later on, uh, Barry Darkman spoke. But they wanted to detain him for not speaking yesterday. But later on, Barry Darkman spoke. So the thing is that, eh? I still want to point this out. Importantly, I love Barry Darkman's boldness. A lot of people think he's being arrogant because of the way he speaks. Like this video. If I see a secret about you, okay, I will tell. Okay, when you are doing the video, I will tell. Especially you, I will tell. And I will be very, very honest. I will not say anything about this about them because Nigeria has gone down. Now, I will tell you people to actually do the right thing because the judicial system is messed up so bad. It's messed up so bad. It's too bad to save your face. I believe a lot of APC members are here. Everybody needs to save themselves. It's okay. okay. It's okay. 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 This guy is this guy. Too much, man. Too much. I swear, I love this kind of courage. I swear. What? What the? The courage much. He said, "You are guy. You over there. They talk to us of rep. You say you over there. If I see secret about you." I will release her. Most especially you, Oga. If I see about you, I will release that. The judicial system is totally messed up. Ah, big up to you, very dark man. The Nigerians, eh, where we they now currently? Eh? You can't tell Nigeria anything. You can't. You can't advise anything. Even though you are a good person, self, you cannot advise. Because nobody wants to listen to advice anymore. Very dark man is arrogant, good and fine. But those people there, the politicians and all of them, why can't they not be so arrogant not to destroy this country? Why can't they lead by examples? After all, now that they fight, fight, they carry political talks and everything. So they are exactly teaching us how to be arrogant. Because if we know them for being respectful and we have a really strong hold to our root, you will see every child this country will produce will be respectful and have respect for heroes, have respect for politicians. Because they know politicians are not greedy, but now the guy, they are arrogant. But look yourself at the mirror and tell yourself you are not arrogant. If you are not arrogant, then look around you, look at your consequences, your constituency. So guys, that just how it is. Eh? Say the guy they arrogant and talks any out to people. Let him speak. It's not his fault. He was born, bred in Nigeria. It's the society. It's what is. It's what the society has made him be, become ruthless, unafraid. It's what the society has turned him into. Ruthless one at phrased and disrespectful. To you, I'll be disrespectful to you. But to him, he's doing the right thing. How can you change that? It's only a few people that can talk to very dark man. And those people must have credibility. Must have done something that's okay, this guy, he deserves my respect. But no be somebody who just who is a politician, no, no, just because they talk, you have to be careful the way you speak. If not, we get you arrested. Like, what have you done to the society to warrant you that form of respect? What have you done? Eh? What have you done? Yesterday, we saw how he apologized straight up to Falana. I was so happy how he addressed that Falana case yeah, yesterday. Immediately addressed it. Say, I'm sorry. That was something I, I never really, really expected. 
you know, when he dropped that uh, uh, message on his uh, Instagram story, people were saying, go straight to the point. But when that video came out, you know, everybody just re relaxed a bit. Apology. Because of the man deserved the apology. Well, yesterday was uh, hot. And the very dark man spoke well for me, spoke well, entirely well. So let's see how the next coming days will come. And how, what will happen, how the story will get twisted again. And what else will happen, I do not know. But let us just watch the next coming days.